Did Snipe sell me some B grades? I don't know, but let's get off into it. Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Read My Soul and I'm back with another review for you. Today we are looking at the Air Jordan 1 Palominos. Look at those right there. Those things are sweet. So I recently doubled up on these shoes as you can tell from my intro and the pair that I received from Nike is vastly different in quality than the pair that I received from Snipes. Now I will say these are two different sizes. The pair that I got from Nike is a size 10 and the pair that I got from Snipes is a size nine and a half. Now I usually go with a nine and a half in my Air Jordan ones, right? I usually go with a nine and a half, but because I was quickly trying to check out on the sneakers app, I forgot to change my size. Most Jordans and most Nikes, I wear a size 10. So my default size on sneakers app is a 10. I was just trying to check out quick because they had a let everyone enter, so it's a Leo drop. So I actually didn't believe I would cop from the sneakers app because I have taken mostly L's for the last 10 years plus, maybe eight years plus. So I didn't believe that I would check out on the sneakers app so i went to snipes and cop from snipes because i've been able to cop from snipes lately so you know shout out to snipes this is not a dig on snipes this might be a dig on nike but i was able to cop this pair the nine and a half from snipes it was real quick it was real fast and i forgot that i entered on the sneakers app i just saw my account get hit twice and i was like whoa 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 shout out to snipes i'm gonna give snipes the credit they delivered this on thursday so shout out to snipes for getting this here first uh, i actually didn't get tracking on my nike pair to the friday before they were out to ship which was saturday so it took a week for this pair to get here so i did a full review on the snipes pair right i did a few review on the snipes pair as you can see right here i did a full review then once i received my nike pair and i opened it up i noticed the difference now you can probably notice the difference on camera already i'm gonna hit y'all with some close-ups but before i do that you can already see the differences right here the nike pair is darker and more like what was pictured online and it looks more like a leather finish like it looks more like a dark leather brown leather than the snipes pair which looks more like a washed out leather don't get me wrong these are fire i am happy to have these pair some people are calling it the poor man travis scott's the poor man mochas and yeah whatever cool i think these are dope especially with that bread blocking and that bread colorway yo these were a must have for me. Like I said, I didn't mean to double up, but the pairs are noticeably different. I have here the Nike pair and I have here the Snipes pair. So you can see that the Snipes pair is completely colored different. Now you can also see on the swoosh here as the swoosh goes into this panel right here and you don't see any stitching from that swoosh, which is very similar right this is very similar to my lost and founds that i have and um, i'm gonna show you all a few other jordan ones as well because the jordan one quality is all over the place and then you have the snipes pair which you can see some of the stitching coming into this panel here also as i give y'all some close-ups you can see that when you do the the push test which if you put a pair of shoes down on a flat surface and you rock them do they rock the snipes pair rocks like crazy so it has me asking myself is this a freaking b gray pair let's be real is this a big gray pair did snipe send me a big gray pair or is nike quality control just that bad as you can see here in these close-ups it's a difference like you can definitely tell there is a difference in the color there's a difference in almost the shape um the back panel from the back view you can see that the nine and a half is a lot wider right and in the shape is it, it almost seems like somebody put their foot in it and tried it on it's a lot wider than the nike pair the nike pair is real slim and real like almost perfect right it's a nice perfectly shaped as to the nine and a half is all fat and wide and looks like somebody tried it on so it has me thinking that this is a b grade pair now i'm going to show y'all some of the air jordan ones that i have in my collection as you can see they vary they all vary now the lost and found ones that i'm showing y'all here i got this from a third-party retailer well i got it from an aftermarket retailer so take that with a grain of salt 
I'm gonna be honest with you, anything that I've received off of an aftermarket retailer, I look at it like my redheaded stepchild, like a redheaded stepchild, because you never know nowadays you know, because nobody is the authenticate on uh, the authentication king. Nobody can authentify these shoes with a hundred percent accuracy. Let's just keep it real. So this is a third party retailer, but I'm pretty sure they got it right. I've looked at plenty of pictures and plenty of uh videos of this shoe online and i'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent legit and as you can see here the swoosh goes straight into that into that panel right there so then we have the next chapter ones which i got off a of goat as well so look at it with a grain of salt because you never know if goat is the authentication king right they are the most trustworthy source right one of the if not the most trustworthy source as they have partnered with Foot Locker, um, I believe it was Foot Locker, Foot Locker, uh, Flight Club, Foot Locker, Flight Club, and Goat are kind of like the same company, or owned by the same company, so like I said, take that with a grain of salt. As you can see here, we have the pink wash ones that I got directly from Nike, swoosh different, swoosh and shape very different. Um, as you can see here, I have the OG wash or the Black Heritage ones that I got straight from Nike, the swooshes and everything are different as well more similar to the pair that i actually got from snipes you can see that contrast stitching a little bit off also you have the unc ones the black toes that i received from nike as well that has a little bit different stitching as well so nike's quality control when it comes to ones is all over the place look at it it's, it's dark this is what the shoe should look like i'm pretty sure this is what the shoe is supposed to look like and this just i don't know man everything about this shoe just seems a little bit off and i don't i don't i don't know i wouldn't say it's fake but it definitely feels a little bit b grade ish one thing that i did notice about these shoes is that the pair that i got from nike the factory date says that it started on march 1st 2023 and finished on april 17th 2023 and the pair that i got from snipes says that it was started march 1st 2023 and was finished april 21st 2023 so the pair from snipes finished april 21st 2023 and the pair from nike finished april 17th 2023 but they both started on march 1st so that is the one difference that i see that i don't know it's just it's just giving me like a bit off vibes man now of course this type of leather is very i'm pretty sure they're all gonna vary because of the type of wash or type of uh, uh i think this is uncured leather so the type of uh, makeup this leather is I believe all pairs will be different but this different you know snipes no disrespect to snipes this is a dig at Nike Nike quality control makes it damn near impossible to uh, guarantee what you're gonna get when you get it in hands so I am happy that I doubled up so I can make a video about this because a lot of the times when with Jordans if you don't have that early look you're not gonna be in the algorithm. So you have to come up and you have to be creative with the way you promote and uh, title your content to get people to click. And I thought that this was very dope. I haven't really seen anybody online with this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not looking either. So there might be some other person that has this video online, but I just wanted to talk about my experience. Um, like I said, the algorithms are very unpleasant if you're not one of the first ones to review a shoe. And I don't have any connections to any early pairs. I don't have any connections like that. So a lot of the times I'm at the behest of the brands to ship it out quickly and me to try to get it out as soon as possible. But, you know, with this, it's crazy, man, that these are so different. And I mean, it's a size and a half difference, but like the color being different is a little ridiculous the width of the shoe seeming like the the width of the snipes pair is a little wider than the width of uh this uh nike pair it is crazy so leave your thoughts in the comment section man i am glad that y'all chose to rock out with me i do have more content coming from y'all like i said i have been yeezyed out so i took a little bit of a break but i do have some discussion videos that i will be dropping because you know i like to talk about sneakers i like to talk about hip-hop i like to keep it real over here so i am out i appreciate y'all again for rocking out with your boy do you think snipes sent me a b-grade pair of shoes are these b-grades let's be real 
or is it just Nike's quality is just that bad? I'm out of here. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a video. Read my soul out. Peace.